When selecting the cooling fans for your computer, you need to consider the size, speed, the amount of air they move, the noise the fans make, and how they will get their power. Most computer cases have space for size 80mm and or 120mm fans. Some cases come with fans already installed with an option to add extra fans. Check the case specs to be sure. The size of the fan and the speeds the fan blades rotate determines the amount of air moved. The amount of air moved is measured in cubic feet per minute or CFM. The speed of the fan, its build quality, and its size determines how much noise it makes. The noise level of a fan is measured in decibels or dB. When buying an 80 mm fan, look for one that can move at least 30 CFM of air with less than 30 dB of noise. When buying a 120 mm fan, look for one that moves at least 60 CFM of air with less than 30 dB of noise. This will ensure good airflow in the case with little more than a whisper level of noise. For an almost silent fan, look for 20 dB. Fans with adjustable speed controls are also an option. These fans let you tailor the fan speed and noise level to your liking. If you want more control over all of your cooling fans, you can connect them to a fan controller. The controller sits in a open 5 and a quarter inch bay next to your DVD or Blu-ray drive. This allows you full control over each fan. Some models give you temperature readings from inside the case. Case fans connect to either a standard 4-pin Molex connection from the power supply or a 3-pin connection on the motherboard. If you're going to be using a fan controller, keep in mind that most will only support fans with the 3-pin power connectors. Many case fans have both 4-pin Molex and 3-pin connections. Connecting through the motherboard is best, since the fan not only gets power from the connection, but the motherboard can also monitor the fan's speed and sound a warning if the fan ever stops spinning. Most motherboards have at least two of these three-pin fan connections. Check the motherboard specs, or take a look at the motherboard you buy to be sure. All computer cases have a place for at least one fan at the front of the case to bring in cool air. A good case will either come with or have at least one space to add another fan next to the CPU and video card to move the hot air out. Some cases will have spots for bottom, side, and top fans as well. When shopping for fans, look for 120mm fans that move at least 60 CFM of air and make less than 30 dB of noise. Look for 80mm fans that move at least 30 CFM of air and make less than 30 dB of noise. Be sure the fan has a 3-pin connector so it can be monitored by the motherboard or plugged into a fan controller. Expect to pay between $5 and $15 per fan. In the installation lessons, we will install the case fans into the system and create clear airflow inside the case.